Hello, this is Bill Byther with Machine Metrics, and I am very excited to, to show our next generation machine metrics that we launched today. And um, here you can see the, uh, the new company dashboard, and um, where you really have this holistic view of your entire plant. And uh, you have the ability to really drill into where there's uh, problem areas in your, in your manufacturing to quickly identify root causes and, and implement uh, positive change. So just as a quick review, we have here a, um, a list for just today. You can see how you're comparing in utilization and some of your OE metrics compared to the day before. But what I, what I really like is, um, is the ability to identify your uh, machine utilization that's, um, that's uh, falling below uh, what, we, what we now calculate as a baseline. So we, we baseline your equipment performance and then compare the, the actual to the baseline. And um, we, we do that similarly to the cycle time. So here we have a, a list of the different operations that you're running. And uh, when the cycle time that we're calculating ends up being slower than expected or quoted, uh, you can highlight those. You can really drill in and see what's going on. Uh, but here, you know, I see there's a couple machines that are running a bit, uh, a bit slower than I expect. Um, this one here, this uh, SW3, is running at 29%. So let's uh, dive in and see what's going on here. Um, so if I, if I drill in, uh, I can see that uh, immediately this gives me a slide out where I can, uh, I can see my utilization. I can see I'm starting to run that um, uh, around, around 10 a.m. I've got uh, you know parts. We're not quite producing the amount of parts that we expect per hour, and then the um, there's a few reasons of downtime, and this downtime is automatically classified based on programs and alarm codes on the machine. So you know we can see that there's a material issue about an hour and uh, a tool change that uh, looks like it took a little while, uh, and then um, got some alarms, and you know we can we can see our OEE, but. Um, what, uh, what I'd like to also point out here is we, we have uh, our operation. So, you know, this is the operation that we're running and uh, and we can see that there's um, uh, where we have our, our cycle time that's that's uh, running a little bit slower. However, we're, uh, we're running, uh, our baseline is uh, 4 minutes and 45. We're actually a little bit quicker than our baseline. So, so that's, uh, that's a good sign. Uh, but let's uh, let's drill in a little bit more. Let's go into the machine because what uh, what we also have and we've had this feature for a little bit. Let's hide this so we can um, uh, we get a bit more of a display here. Um, our timeline really allows you to drill in deeper. So let's look at what's going on today, uh, looking at our timeline. And uh, this is flexible where you can add uh, any metric that we're that we're pulling from the machine. Uh, but I can see that. Um, you know, for one, we started this machine at uh, about 10.58 a.m., so a bit late. Uh, I can see that I was uh, doing some manual editing of the of the machine and started running uh, right around 11. Uh, we have, um, uh, you know, I can, I can see that we had a break in in the um, uh, during the night where uh, we were unattended, so we weren't tracking that against our OEE, uh, but we were at, at 6 a.m. But uh, our downtime events, you can see that they're occurring here where we had some alarms uh, we had a bar feeder alarm that definitely took longer than expected. Uh, this was a about an hour duration. Uh, this this resulted in, in machine downtime for for an hour, and and that's um, you know, that's something that is difficult to really surface until you really have that um, that real time data in front of you. Uh, these tool changes here uh, were uh, also took a little while, and you can see that reflected here. So. Yeah, this leads me to believe that maybe the uh, the operator was uh, struggling uh, with these changes, and uh, that's causing uh, a bit more downtime than expected. And the reason why this is falling below our baseline expectation. Uh, but just to continue to, to drill in, uh, this is our our new uh, machine navigator, where it's really designed to quickly identify those um, uh, those issues, uh, similar to the dashboard, but it gives you a bit more of a, a bit more detail. So we can sort on this, like, um, you know, I like looking at the, um, uh, let's look at the, uh, the top trending machines. You know, this gives me an idea of machines that, you know, that are running really well. So this one here, uh, we're, we're actually running at uh, 55 points better than our baseline. So this, uh, you know, really took a turn for, for the better here. And uh, we can see that in our, uh, in our, in our data. And, uh, but we might want to look up, 
beyond just uh, just today. So um, we can decide to drill into um, maybe a, a, let's look at the last seven days to get an idea of how this performed over um, over the last week. And you know, I can see you know I've only run one operation here, uh, and um, uh, but I'm I'm running this um, you know, a bit slower than um, than I um, uh, than I expect at uh, a minute sixteen or that I, that I plan. But again, we're really close to our baseline. So this doesn't mean you know we're, we're trending uh, about uh, about the same in terms of speed uh, cycle time, but we're we're definitely not quoting right here. So that that gives us uh, that level of detail. Um, there's a lot more to explore in our new uh, UX, but I figured you know that's just a taste of uh, of what's new.